Good evening, Mayor and City Council members. My name is Susana Almanza, and I'm the Executive Director of Poder. First, let me state that I support urban farms. My family were urban farmers in East Austin in the late 1940s, and so was I. Uh, the Austin Chronicle is fueling the fire of hatred, making it seem that poor and working class poor people of color are trying to shut down the poor farmers that own five acres of land who should be allowed to have events every weekend with no regards for their neighbors and or their communities. For everyone's information, the community offered some compromises to property owners, but they didn't accept them. Why should they listen to people of color in East Austin who are forced to live in East Austin when the city created its 1928 master plan? Why should people of color have rights? Well, there is an environmental justice organization that helped to close down six of the largest oil companies in the Springdale Airport community that were negatively impacting the people's health and the health of the environment. For that help relocate BFI that was bringing 350,000 households recyclable to the gardens neighborhood and harming the community. We helped close down the largest carbon footprint in East Austin, the Holly Power Plant, which was causing harm to the community and the environment. We supported the SOS ordinance, the plastic bag ban, protection of trees, and much more. The, the 755 Springdale zoning case is before the city council because the owners, Glenn and Paula Floor, were in non-compliance of the urban farm ordinance. They were and are illegally hosting events. That is why the case is before the council. The community is not trying to close down any urban farm. I've been to numerous meetings at the Planning Commission and in City Council and have heard and witnessed people living west of IH 35 complain about venues that are bringing increased traffic, traffic spill over into their neighborhoods, noise, public intoxication, etc., into their neighborhoods. No one is stating that they are anti music or anti automobile. This Thursday, a group of People who live near City Hall wanted a special ordinance to stop all construction by 8 p.m. due to noise and traffic. Are they anti-development? Yet when people of color desire the same things that people west of I-35 want, we are portrayed as people who don't like fresh food or people who don't like urban farms. Reverse racism is used to describe us. We have now been labeled as a gang Hatred is being used at people of color. People of color should have the same rights as everyone else. I will continue to stay on the path of justice in a world that acts out so many injustices. Thank you.